It's Sifu Bogdanovich here with a new video and to be honest I have no idea what I'm going to talk about today so I guess the best was just to put the camera in front of me and just start ranting about some random stuff and let's just see what happens let's just go with the flow today and see what will where this video will take us so for those of you that don't know okay that's somebody messaging me right now that's weird um, I'm just using my phone for uh, for this video um, for those of you who don't know I'm using Periscope right now to transmit live from our training sessions and sometimes from my house and share some very valuable ideas the advantage of using Periscope to watch these kinds of videos is that you can ask questions live for example if we were doing this video on Periscope right now you could ask me questions and I would see them on the screen and I could reply to those questions or you could actually select the topic for the video. Okay, that would be so useful, especially in these cases when you don't know what topic to choose. And we can have a awesome interaction while we do these videos. And it's a very, very, very interesting platform to be on. For example, I watched a video with Ty Lopez the other day I really like Ty Lopez, he's a millionaire from the States and uh, he puts a lot of quality content. And basically you can follow anybody who is of interest to you. For example, Brian Tracy has a channel, Brendan Burchard has a, a um, account on Periscope. Anyway, to come back to our sheep, what I was talking in the live session today on Periscope was about money because one of my students actually asked me about money yesterday. He said, money is driving me crazy. I, I said, what do you mean? Is it alive? Did it jump out of your pocket, out of your wallet? Is it, is it running amok on your house? Or how is it driving you crazy? He said, no, no, I cannot sleep at night. I feel that it's very important to me and I feel that I want a lot of money. He said, okay. That could, that doesn't make you the only one on the planet. There are a lot of people who want a lot of money. I say, yeah, but I don't want to work just for the money. I want to do something that uh, makes me happy. I say, okay, are there people on this planet that are making a lot of money and they're doing what they love? I say, yeah, they are. Okay, so what's stopping you from doing that? I say, I don't know what to do. I say, ah, okay, so now we, we're talking more about the source of the problem because Money is not the root of all, all evil. It's what you do with the fucking money that is the root of all evil. If you have $2 million and you donate, let's say more than, more than half, you donate $1 million to charity and you help some people in Africa or you help develop new technology, is that saying, or you help a church, right? Is that saying that you're using money to do evil? If you're an evil person, you're doing you're gonna do more bullshit with that money more than you're doing today. It's just like martial arts, right? Just like Wing Chun. We say in Wing Chun that your character shows in the higher level. Why? Because when you think that you're good, you don't have to you, you do not have to hide who you really are anymore just to just to become better. When you get into the higher level, your character shows in the way you walk, in the way you talk, in the way you work with other people, in the way you use your Wing Chun. It's the same with money. Having more money just shows more of who you are. If your friends, or if you have friends that became, that um, started having money all of a sudden and they changed, they didn't change, they just showing you who they are. Does that make sense? It's just like in, in, in martial arts, in the, high, in the higher level, you show your true self. So if you're a generous person, being higher level in martial arts, you're just gonna help more people. You're gonna help more people improving. You're gonna help more people have better lives and get in deeper, get into a better connection with themselves. Instead, if you're just an asshole, but you're trying to hide that, in the higher level, you do, you're not gonna, you're gonna realize that it takes too much energy to hide who you are and you're just gonna show. You're gonna show your true self. The question is, who are you today? Who are you now and who do you want to be? Don't get me wrong, I, I, was to, I, I used to be very, I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say selfish, but I used to be 
very shy and very much focused on myself, right? Oh my God, how are people going to perceive me or and um, where are they going to think of me? And that changed. You can always change who you are. Money is not the problem. Being better, good in martial arts is not the problem. It's who you decide to be. If you're doing martial arts and you're being very um, egotistical, right? And you decide that you want to share. You decide that you want to love. You want to love yourself and you want to love others. Then your martial arts is just going to help you do more of that. It's not about who... It's not about how much money you make. It's not about how much success you have. It's really about who you are. And the things that you want... Do not, you don't get the things that you want, you get the things that you are. You get what you are, right? So you're not, you're not a person that wants more things. You're not a person that wants uh, Ferrari. You're not a person that wants success. You decide to be a successful person. And now the question is, what is success for you? What does it mean for you? Leave a comment in the comment section. I cannot wait to, to read them. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section. If you're not following me on Periscope right now, I'll write the, you will find my idea in uh, my ID, my Periscope ID in uh, the description. Until next time, I'm Sifu Bogdan. Ciao.